Did you report the Uber driver? The one that asked if he could basically sleep with me on the side of the road. Sorry, 18 plus video, good question. I'm actually very embarrassed about what my answer is. It's worth talking about. I did not report him at all. He asked me extremely sexually inappropriate questions. And you know what I did? I jumped out of the car as quick as I could, hit the five star button as quick as I could, and walked away as, as quick as I could. And that is the experience for a lot of individuals. A lot of the time it is women, sometimes it is men, but the idea of when somebody literally assaults you or verbally makes you feel very uncomfortable and is very, very inappropriate, a lot of the times it's not reported. And a lot of people just look at the situation and be like, I'll get it, it's so easy, just report it, just call the police, just do this. And people don't realize that people that experience it, and I get it all the time, um, you just want the situation like to go away. Like you just want it to be gone. And reporting it, of course, is so important. And I, I advise other people to do so. And yet I'm a total hypocrite because when you're in the situation, you just want to never see the person again and never want to talk about it again. And you want to forget that it ever happened and pretend that it never did. And that's that was my experience. I got asked like really inappropriate questions for like 15 minutes straight. What did I do? Did I report it? Did I give him one star? Did I write a negative review? No, I did not. I survival mode, walked away quickly, hit the five stars as quick as I could, submit, and hoped that I would never have to see or think about him ever again. And that's a lot of people's experience when it comes to verbal or physical assault. This helps.